Moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem has been a controversial prospect since Congress mandated it as a U.S. policy in 1995. During the 2016 presidential campaign, then-candidate Trump vowed to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, but ended up signing a six-month waiver on June 1st, delaying the action one more time. But the specter of making the move was raised once more by Vice President Mike Pence on Tuesday. While for the past 20 years, Congress and successive administrations have expressed a willingness to move our embassy, as we speak, President Donald Trump is actively considering when and how to move the American embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Israeli troops captured Jerusalem from Jordan during the 1967 Six-Day War. The holy city is claimed by three major faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The Palestinians also consider Jerusalem their capital, as does most of the Arab world. Moving the embassy to Jerusalem would signal U.S. recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. This would infuriate Palestinians who claim the eastern sector of the city and trigger a firestorm of criticism from Arab nations and allies in the region. They have on many occasions vehemently warned Mr. Trump against the move. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders shot down Israeli media reports claiming that the White House was poised to move the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv to Jerusalem as premature. President Trump has a Friday deadline to decide, but now White House officials are saying that President Trump is considering recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, while at the same time signing a waiver to delay the embassy's move for another six months. Frank Uciardo, TRT World News, the United Nations.